on focus, and on blur. There are many ways to catch fish. And many events to trigger JavaScript functions. In this podcast, we explore two, on focus and on blur. An on focus event occurs when we select an element. And on blur occurs when we leave it. This is our test page. It's very basic. It's only two prompts for first name and then last name. And the structure of the inputs is identical. The only thing that changes is the ID, F name for first name, L name for last. Now, I want to point out this line. This is where we test for on focus. And when that event occurs, we run the set style event handler and we pass to it this ID, which would be F name for first name and L name for last name. Below it is our code to test for an on blur event. In which case, we'll call the event handler uppercase and again pass the ID to it. Here I've defined our event handler set style. And notice that within the parentheses there's an X. Now when we call set style, within the parentheses we had this dot ID. So this dot ID whether it's F name or L name, is passed to set style, and it will be called X here. Now, the only thing that this function does is turn the background of the selected element to pink. This is our on blur event handler, and it accepts the ID of the calling input element and stores it into Y. Now it could be L name or F name. Now what it does is first create a variable called X and makes it equal to the value that was keyed in. It then converts that value to all uppercase letters. Here is our practice page and it consists of the two prompts for first name and last name. And remember, when we enter one of these input areas, it, the on focus event occurs. And on focus will call our set style event handler and turn our background pink. Then when we type in our text, it appears just exactly the way that we typed it. But when we leave that input area, on blur will call our uppercase event handler and it will all be turned to capital letters. So let's hit tab and there you go. The key idea to remember from this podcast is that events can call event handlers and it's easy once you get started. Talk to me about your training needs. Regardless of what business you're in, I can help you train your employees.